How's it going? Today we've got a battery unboxing and it was sent to us by our friends at Lee Time, formerly Ampere Time. Um, it's one of the smaller ones, 12 volt, 100 amp hour mini battery. And one is definitely needed for sure because the 100 amp hour batteries currently that, that are on the market are so much wasted space. Let me show you. So this is a demo battery that we have. And this is what uh, most group 31 size batteries look like. Pull this giant piece of foam out. There's foam here. There's another foam piece of foam here, foam all around it. The battery itself is probably taking up only about 50% of this volume. So, so what if you wanted to make a smaller battery? Let's see, I have not opened this yet. I don't know if they sent this to me because uh, I'm reviewing this for them, but it's quite the packet. I've, I've gotten a mortgage in a less substantial packet than, than this before. What do we got in here? All kinds of stuff. You know what? Oh, <laughs> look at these stickers, nice. St <laughs> I don't understand the, Okay, I get life PO4. Cheers, all right, and stay strong, I guess. That's kind of weird. All right, I like it, I like the effort. I like the effort, all right. Here are your post bolts. Well, that's nice. I'm sure we've all lost those before. Don't need that anymore. Wow, look at this, nice and small. Ooh. Look at this. Huh. That is very tiny. Let's, uh, here I got another one of those. To compare, this is your typical, if you were to buy uh, the old Ampere Time, Lee Time 12 volt battery, this is what you're looking at. I mean, the, wow. You could really pack a bunch, you get really creative with how you want to pack these batteries in. So I think what we need to do is just to, you know, I trust that this is a 100 amp hour battery, but let's uh, give it a test. So we'll charge it up and uh, we'll use our Victron test rig over here to discharge it and we will see uh, what we find out. All right, we will we'll charge this guy up and we'll come back when it's done. There we go. Now we've got uh, 20 amps charging. Well, day has turned to night here in the Soda Solar shop, but the uh, batteries are fully charged. We're at 14.57 volts and it's not taking any more amps. So I think it's time to put it on the test rig there and do a capacity test. But first, <laughs> we've got to, uh, we gotta tear this off and get the bolts out of here. Okay, so we got our uh, battery hooked up. We're gonna be running the uh, little space heater for the load. That'll pull about 30, 35 amps. Actually, maybe less, because uh, lithium runs at such a higher voltage. And uh, using the Victron MultiPlus 3000 to do the uh, discharging, and we'll track it all on the uh, Serbo GX display here. So let's get started. And one of the great things about lithium is its working voltage is so high. Watch this. We're gonna be pulling, uh, well, what, a little over, uh, yeah, 400 watts, but the amps is only 30 because look at that working voltage, 13.2 volts or so, where your lead acid is gonna be, you know, 12.8, 12.5, Maybe even less. 
So this should take, what, three, four hours? I might be in bed by then, but we will have a result. Quick editor's note, I did stop the test when I went to bed and then resumed it in the morning. All right, well, as you can see, everything's quieted down here. Uh, our monitor here shows 76% because I have the uh, battery capacity set for a different test. But it did track our amp hours. And uh, let's take a look at that on our phone because, um, or we'll have to look at the data log because actually this system completely, it drained so much that the system completely reset. And for some reason it's showing um, at the moment, just full transparency, it's showing 95 amp hours there. That's what it currently is at. I had to jump the system back up by charging it just a little bit because it was completely dead by the time I got back out here. Uh, but let's take a look at what the VRM data says here. And uh, I'll put it up right over here on the side. And what we're seeing there is it looks like we got over 101 amp hours of data out of, or not of data, of power out of it. So that's pretty good. For this, uh, for this little tiny battery, and you can tell I got another like normal 100 amp hour right next to it, um, I'd recommend this battery, uh, great power. The only downside, um, I did look a little bit more, I found some documentation on it. It does not uh, support low temp charge protection, so it's like most of the other ampere time, lead time batteries, no low temp charge protection, so other than that, um, great battery, just keep it warm and have some kind of low temp charge protection that is external of this. So for more uh, experiments and uh, other kind of solar stuff or just learning about off-grid solar, um, love a subscription, uh, watch our other videos, like, comment, love to hear from you. All right, thanks. Bye.